All right, just to catch you up a little bit, what we did was we fixed a few more things on the map, and then I was testing the contract. The contract was actually that field right there, field 17. Holy crap. Um, so with one combine, that's, that's, yeah, I, I couldn't even edit the video short enough to air it. It was, took forever. Anywho, you might notice we now own field 15. Here's what happened. Since I have collect straw for missions on, we made $551,000 just collecting the straw on 17. Not to mention after the contract was done, we got 112,000 for the contract. Plus we still made like $200,000 on the crop that the contract didn't require us to sell for them. So I bought another field. Um, so we want to test that field today to make sure it works. Um, contracts are definitely working. I did one other contract, which was field 30 fertilizing. Oof. Anywho, this looks like sorghum. Yeah. Oh, yield bonus is only 53%. That might be all right. I mean, we didn't plan it, so the only investment we have is buying the land itself. Now, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm going to cheat. Definitely going to cheat. I mean, we're testing it after all, so. Yeah, this is how we're going to cheat. We're going to come in here. Yeah. We'll grab this little guy here. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, cut that down a little bit. Ooh, oh. What I get for trying to change volume while driving. Interesting. Y'all didn't see none of that. Okay, so... I feel like that volume's still a little loud. Alright, so... How's this cheating? Well, the head allows us to go maximum speed through the field. And it's also wider than it looks. Yeah. And the combine... Goes like... 11 billion liters or some shit. Actually, you know what? We're just going to set this guy up. See what happens. So, we'll create a job. No, we're definitely not doing that again. Open close. Uh, let's try a hundred. No, a hundred might be too big. I don't remember how wide this thing actually is. We'll go 50. Okay. Number of headlands, honestly. Pretty sure we can do with just we'll go to fuck it. Generate. Waiting. Mm, waiting some more. Oh wow. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and save this as Ah, create new folder. F15. Okie dokie. And then we'll save. Of course. As a temp. Now where the heck does it start at on that? Of course it's on the other side. Why wouldn't it? You know what? Let's just. Take a swap right out of the middle. La di di di, la di di da. Bow 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 bow. Bow bow bow. 
This way I'm not running from. Makes total sense as long as you don't think about it. Alright. So. Over here somewhere is that starting point. Kind of headed towards it. Oh, I see it. Turn. You really want to turn slow with this thing, otherwise you skip the block. La -dee -dee -dee, la -dee -dee -da. This should be a ridiculous. Well, not too ridiculous, I guess, because where the heck did that start point go? There it is. Oof. Oof. actually my fault. My bad. This is going to be a problem. We're, yeah, this is going to be a major problem. Hi, right, worker. Will he be able to get over the clump? Fair enough. Look, totally 100% legit. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the not so cheaty electric wagon involved. He'll never be able to catch up. Because one thing I didn't do is change the speed on it. I wish I did, but I didn't. Oh wow, you got some crazy lag going on. My monitors keep trying to like shut off. That's all I need is something else to go wrong with the computer. So you're probably asking yourself, how in the world am I gonna pick up a gigantic clump of craziness? Um, they're just not going to drive over. Come on, lag. Stop. There's so many errors on this map. Like, it's just not going to run smooth until I get everything done. Um, I set cruise control for a reason. Yeah, it seems so slow compared to how fast that combine's going. <laughs> you should just see the drop in the background disappearing Ugh. typically I would not record myself cheating however we are trying to test a map so I mean you know quicker we get it done quicker we can sign off on it right sure Seems totally likely. Considering the list of stuff I have to do. I may not ever finish this map. I'm just being honest. Um Because if somehow Nitro Dad hears my pleas and brings in a certain map from FS nineteen to FS twenty two. You know, a certain map with a lot of red barns. <clears throat> yeah. I will be on that map. Because that is by far my all time favorite map so far. Including all the ones I've made. I prefer that one.
I guess maybe I could ask if I can convert it. It made a hell of a lot more sense to convert that than this one. Huh. And it's got a nifty little red pickup truck to drive around. Yeehaw. Reminds me of my old truck. That mine was two tone turd brown. Bloody dee, bloody da. <laughs> Jesus, that combine. <laughs> what the crap? I'm sure he's probably missing a lot. Now, you like that. So, of course, active, blah, blah. Firework. Now we just let him go, do his thing. Is there an offset? Yes. Oops, wrong way. Offset you by like one. That doesn't seem to be doing anything. Yeah, we need you to go the other way. That'll work. Maybe. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Now let's go check this drunken combine out. Good grief. Yep, nothing to see here. Totally legit farming going on here. Hashtag realism. Yeah. Mm. See, what we got here is... Um, yeah. Uh-huh. It's the... Uh, invisible JD 10,000 XD uh, something something universal uh, thingamajig. It, it uses gigantic vacuum cleaners and laser technology to like uh you know cut the stuff down from like a mile away and then the high powered suction cups that run off of gigantic uh GE turbo fan blade vacuum cleaner things sucks it all in and it goes through these titanium thermite uh cutter thing jiggies that yeah mm -hmm. sure thing it's totally 100% Approved by the FDA. La dee dee, la dee dee da. Nothing to see here. Oh, I did do two headlines. And I could have probably gone by 100 instead of 50. Eh, eh, well. It's fine. We'll save fuel by only activating one laser beam and one giant vacuum cleaner. Yeah. We're eco friendly. How am I already third? My goodness. If this field was at 100%, we would actually have to unload this combine after this round. 
Good grief. Not a bad investment. Really good investment considering the amount of sorghum we got going on here. Oh yeah, that reminds me. We also have... I uh, forgot to turn off auto save. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Thank you. And we got going on here some flour. We actually put some wheat in there just to check it out. And it appears to be working. And it's set to auto sell, so don't have to worry about it. Well, I could dump a crap ton of sorghum in there. I've probably already got that in the combine. Yes. No. Yes. Yes, we do. Holy crap. That poor tractor is going to take forever to collect this straw. It does bog down what it's taking in a lot, too. So, when I was doing Field 17, I had two of those going. And I decided I only wanted to make one trip to sell the straw, right? So, intelligent me decided to dump the straw that was in the trailer on the ground and I turned my entire yard into straw. Straw heaps that were taller than the combine. That took forever in itself, but then I had to go pick it up. And as it was trying to feed all that into the straw uh, collector at the same time, it had slowed down to like one mile an hour trying to pick it up. That was excruciating. We boring. But I got it all collected, and we got it all sold, and we made a lot of moolah off a of straw. We've only sold a little bit of wheat so far. So this sorghum here and the straw cell, that's probably going to push us way up there as far as money goes. Might even be buying field 17. Doubt it. Right, how much that was. Ah, gotta scroll all the way up here. Okay, field 17. We might. Might be able to do. We can definitely get 27 next. Or 17. Oh, this is farmlands. This is not the actual field numbers. That's the other thing I gotta fix. The field 17. Farmland 14 and 49 for some reason. Yeah, I might actually have to change the price of it. Why did he stop? Ugh. Oh, now you're going. You stopped for the combine, didn't you? Jeez. This is just insane. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to change. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you're watching. If you think I should change the pricing of the fields. Because I think they're a little cheap to be honest. Considering how much you make off of said fields. The sell prices on this map are congruent. They're what they typically would be. Um, because I brought in some productions and stuff. So I wanted to keep the price point at the same point across the board as far as selling. But I think the price of the fields is a little low to be honest. I don't know. Maybe I'll go back and figure out how many actual acres are in the field. Multiply that by the actual price of acreage today. Taking account if there's any buildings on said property. So he should be getting ready to go up and down. Yep.
You can figure it out there, Junior. You can figure it out. Yes, sir. Look at that. No chance of running crop this way. This is so dumb. All right, well, I'm going to let this guy finish up and I'll see y'all in a little bit. Well, one thing I had to say for last person did conversion on this map, they did a really good job on actually putting in the field coordinates and everything right. So far, I've not had a problem harvesting or planting or plowing or anything on these fields. So that is a good sign. I think a lot of the errors other than the background, the background is definitely an error that I can't seem to fix. Um, and I don't understand why, because I changed it to the correct uh, shaders and all that, but still doesn't like it. The other errors, I think, are coming from all the extra added root types that are on this map. Um, theoretically, that should be an easy enough one to fix, but... Yeah. Our guy is still going to be picking up straw for a while. Yeah, maybe not. He's, uh... Yeah. He's got a little ways to go. Half of this I'm going to dump in... The mill. The rest of it I'm just going to sell. Well, this thing needs both fertilizer and <laughs> lime, so why not do both at the same time? It'll probably end up looking like it did last time where it's only partially limed because I keep forgetting the width of the lime is not quite as much as we'll find out real quick still partially limed is better no lime at all right did I get the correct I did okay never mind The only problem is we're probably going to end up running into, maybe not, the collector wagon. And it will not be filming me plowing this field. You might see a little bit of it, but... Yeah, it's going to take a long time to plow this guy. This guy. Yeah. Good Lord. We got ahead of him at least. I don't want to run out of money before this is done, so I'm really hoping that combine gets offloaded soon. Did I repay that loan? I guess it didn't need lime. 
Oh well. I won't need it next time either. And that's all profit in this guy. Oh, one thing I did do is update a lot of the cell points. Man, we need to make some clothes. See, this is all that extra fruit stuff. That one came through, but I don't know what the heck this stuff is. Well, I guess I'll see you next eternity when this thing is done unloading. Well, we're still unloading the combine over there. But, draw collection is done. So we're going to get that sold real quick so we can make sure our bank account stays in the positive. For a change. Oh, boo. He missed a spot. I had to fire him for that. All right. It's only worth what? 153. Da dee dee dee, da 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 da. That was a little bit farther of driving, I figured. If you look down this road, I still have a tree slash bush to fix. <laughs> Not really sure what happened there. him to unload. Good grief. Uh, 
Remind me next time to increase the unload speed.
I thought I had paused that, but apparently I was recording this entire time. And wasn't talking to no one. My bad. We're still selling straw, as you can tell. We are still trying to unload this circum, as you can tell. Fertilizing is going... Okay, I guess. <laughs> Where in the world is he? Oh, he's way over there in that corner. This is a ridiculous amount of sorghum. Two <sighs> percent. Come on. And we are still selling straw. My goodness. As long as we just keep picking up that straw, apparently we're not going to have to worry about money. Instead of trying to like actually grow hay and stuff, I might just buy it for the cows. Oh my gosh. Is that 0%? Oh my gosh. Are we really almost done unloading the first time? Jesus. Years. <laughs> oh boy. No, and I forgot that. Instead of just making flour and selling flour, why don't we just distribute it and make bread and sell that instead? Makes sense, right? Glitchy, glitchy, glitchy. I'm going to have to be fixing something there. Now while we're dumping out, let's find the best place to sell sorghum. Because we totally need to make sure we get the best price. Well, we can't go to ConAgra because we're dumping straw there. Grain mill is where we're dumping now. We own this. So we're not getting anything. Farmers Cooperative. That yeah, looks good. Guess we'll go there. Oh, check. Intake. <sighs> Oops, what just happened? This button apparently does not work. Okay. 
I don't know what the heck water you're talking about because I don't see water anywhere. Not here, but. Pudoki. Yeah, well, that's full. Time to go sell it. Still selling straw, by the way. I'll be right back. Well, we're done selling straw. But now we're selling sorghum. So. Uh, we're definitely going to have enough money to buy another fuel, I'm pretty sure. I'm thinking at this rate, I'm definitely going to increase the price on fields because you shouldn't be able to do one harvest and buy another field. Just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Oh, I think we're done selling sorghum. Get this all back to the farm. But technically, I do have enough money to buy field 17. However, I do not have enough money to buy it and fertilize and lime it. So, the other option I'm looking at is going ahead and getting 18 and 33 here. Um, they're both with soybeans right now. Yep. And they're both. Ugh. Where to, where to go? They're both close to being ready to harvest. 19 is ready to harvest. And it's just wheat. I think 18 and 33 is the way to go. So we'll go ahead. Boom. And buy them. And we still have 800 some thousand. How much is this field? <sighs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what have I done? So there's going to be a lot of harvesting in the future. Yep, sure is. We won't make enough money to buy field 17 with it. Might. I don't know. Maybe. Either way, we had to get this field um, <laughs> plowed and planted first. And then we'll harvest the other fields. If we have to, we'll leave a fallow. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. Okay, so I'm not going to harvest it today. <laughs> we are going to have, well, this episode, we are going to have to harvest it today, probably. Um, and that's that wheat field. While this guy is plowing and the other guy is finished up with the, uh, lime and fertilizer, 
we're probably going to go ahead and render this video and start a fresh one for the next test, which is going to be possibly the other fields. I have to end up getting all the fields anyways in order to test, make sure that I can't see anything under the map. I've looked, but sometimes there's something invisible underneath the map that will kind of hose you up. So that's why I'm plowing everything to make sure it doesn't catch anything. You know, again, I'm probably not going to finish this map. I can't get a hold of the map author to even get permission to be doing what I'm doing so far. <laughs> so it's just a private edit as of now. I'm still thinking that I'm probably going to have to replace about 50% of the models on the map just because there is no longer shaders support for them. And that sucks, but I can find some pretty good replacements, um, that look similar and we'll just have to pretend like this is 10 years later, you know, and there's newer buildings now. Other than that, I don't know what to tell y'all. Except, happy farming. <laughs>